Welcome to our new studio. This is where we're gonna be broadcasting to you for the next couple of months or maybe years, we don't know. Now, the situation is very interesting in the world. I see that a lot of people are panicking. I see that a lot of people are um, in, in like freeze mode. They don't know what to do. Um, a lot of negative thoughts out there. A lot of people uh, being very sad and anxious and what have you. Now, I think the most important is to look positive at all this, what's happening around you and look at the big awakening because like, you know, when 9-11 happened, a lot of people woke up and saw that maybe things are not as we think. I think this new, you know, panic that is out there also shows us that things are not even as we thought they were even after we woke up first time. So in this awakening, I think it's very important for all of you people who are, you know, more stable and mentally robust than the rest of the population, you should be thinking by now of how to implement a different lifestyle. Now, for many years, um, we made a lot of videos for you. If you have noticed, they were always uh, off the grid. I mean, we were living in mountains and forests and stuff like that. Uh, to be, well, this is our lifestyle. So the idea was to show you that you can do it. You can live off the grid and be in the grid in the same time. Have fun, be in nature, you know, get your body in balance without being in the city. So the reason we're making this video is a little bit about how do we do it, how do we think, and maybe hoping that you can use it in your environment, wherever you are, to get yourself off the system and become independent. Now, this is not a video of how to be happy the rest of your life. This is just a video about how we do it and how we think um, the rational um, behavior should be implemented in wherever you are. Now, what I do always when I move to a new place, um, I think about where is the most nature in this country where you are in. You find that region, you establish yourself if you can, you buy the land uh, or you rent it. Um, but most important is if you have some resources uh, to move around now, um, this is really where you want to use them. Staying in the city, uh, you know, being part of all this circus, I think it's not gonna help you at all. So now because as you see supermarkets are shutting down and you have these crazy restrictions of movements, the most important is to stay free. And how you do that? Be in nature. So wherever you live, whatever language you understand, be there of course, and find the sweet spot where you think that it's nice to live. If you can find a community that's already off the grid and having fun, you should probably join the community because that's going to be easier for you. If you don't have that, it's not so, I mean, you're not so lucky to have people around you that are like-minded. Well, then you have nothing else than do it like I do. Go out, find the best place you can and establish yourself. First thing you have to do is uh, have a roof of your head. So if you go into the wilderness of the forest, well, if it's raining, it's not funny. So get some shelter. There are a lot of videos out there how to build your own shelter, how to build your own house and stuff like that. It's, it's there. I don't need to show you because it's there. So what you have to do is sit down rationally and say, okay, what, what, do, what do I want from my life? If you want to be a free man, you have to live in freedom. So go into the forest or into the farm, wherever you are, build a shelter, or buy a shelter. Maybe somebody already, already built it and you can buy it. It's even better. After that, you have to think about food supply. Now, is it difficult? Yeah, probably it is. If you only know how to move paper from one bucket to another or write emails and talk on the phone, it's going to be a challenge. But I'll tell you what, if I can do it and Charles next to me, the neighbor can do it, you can do it. Anybody can do it. It's just, you know, spending your time in a different way. And I think it's, it's the time now to wake up and say, maybe the moving of papers from bucket to bucket or writing emails is not going to help you or your family to be happy and free. So yes, it's gonna get hard, but it's time to do it. Go out there, start planting, start talking to the farmers, you know, learn from them, start growing your own food. Because if you don't know how to grow your own food, if you don't know how to make your own clothes, if you don't know how to build a shelter, 
you don't know nothing because this is the things you should be knowing. Now that you know where the capital of Australia is or how to send an email or how to write a code, yeah, it's not gonna help you because being a human is doing things outdoor. It's doing things for yourself with meaning, you know? So this is the perfect opportunity, you know? This mass panic and everything is a perfect opportunity for those of you who are not free yet to get out there and become free humans. This is the time. Now, once you establish the food supply, it's gonna be easy, but it's gonna be a little bit hard in the beginning. So go online, look at all these people who are showing you how to grow food in the greenhouse, how to be sustainable with your family, you know, living on 10 square meters in, in the garden, stuff like that. This is the videos you wanna study and try to do it. Or buy, you can buy books of how to have your own garden, how to, how to grow food, how to grow sheep and chicken. I mean, you don't have to do a lot. You, if you have a little bit of resources, go and buy some sheep. Go and buy some chickens, you'll have egg and you'll have meat. You have food. If you have a little bit more money, buy a cow, you'll have milk. You can make cheese, you can make everything out of it. In some uh, of the series uh, out here in the farm, we're gonna show you a few things that I think are interesting, like how to make cheese and how to do some you know, different things. Uh, but again, I mean, it's, it's already out there. You just, whatever question you have, fortunately the internet is not shut down yet, you can find good answers to how doing things. When you're on this journey on becoming self-sustainable uh, and self-sufficient, uh, you're gonna meet a lot of uh, resistance. And mainly the resistance is gonna come from your lack of knowledge. So the more you are into seeking knowledge, the more you're into investigating how to do things and you know communicating with other people, the more success you're gonna have. But this time is all on you. Uncle Sam is not there, you know, the government is not there. It's you, it's just you and your spirit, your soul. So be responsible, do things the way they should be done and listen to yourself because you have so much power inside of you. I mean, did you know that the human body produces as much electricity per second as a whole Danish state? I mean, think about it, that your body produces as much electricity as consumption of 5 million people all right, per second. Now with this energy, you can do anything. I know that through films and you know, books and stuff, they taught you that you can't do this, you can't do that, you can only write emails and you know, go to work for a factory, stuff like that. It's not true. You can do everything anybody else is doing, but you have to sacrifice your time. You have to sacrifice your energy in getting into that mode. We're gonna make a lot of films um, of how we do different things, you know, why we do these bales and uh, how we make hot water and why we have chickens and how we do it and sheep and everything around here. I'm gonna show you all the, the simple stuff of how simple and easy it's, it's to be done. You know, I calculated, if you use four hours a day working for yourself, uh, you can smoke pipe the rest nine hours and uh, play with your kids because being self-sustainable is easy once you're there. To get there is a little bit hard, but I'm gonna show you a lot of ex you know, experiments I did and things that work for me and I hope you can use it. So. Stay tuned, you know, subscribe on the YouTube or go to the Instagram where we're going to be uploading a lot of uh, these small films of how to do simple tasks and how to do them efficient. Yeah. So see you next time.